really glad that we had a completely excellent 4th of July because things just got a lot worse. I wanted to come on and talk to you before Mike got home because I know that I would be a complete mess when he got here, if I'm not already. <laughs> There's not much I can say except that basically the string of underways that Mike was supposed to go on this summer has turned into one long mini deployment. It really will be the last one now, but there's just a lot of thoughts running through my head right now. One of them being the fact that during that time or whenever Mike had a long underway or deployment or whatever, I would go to Miami and I would work at the restaurant. I can't really do that this time. And there's a couple reasons and one of them is really kind of eye-opening to me. The first one is because it's too expensive to go out there right now and the restaurant season is slow in the summer for Miami and it would actually hurt to pay me my salary while I'm there. I have would have a huge flight expense and it just wouldn't really match up or help anyone. The second reason is because this means that I am in charge of a lot of things for our PCS. I don't know anything about PCSing guys, like at all. Not only that, but I don't know anything about PCSing overseas. And I figured that Mike has to do a lot of the scheduling and we have a boat and two cars to ship and I don't know where to even start and I don't the worst part is that our orders actually haven't made it to the boat yet and they will probably make it to the boat while he is underway and just a reminder Mike is on a submarine he's not on a surface ship so any information that we communicate with each other is just through a string of emails that barely get to each other so I'm not even sure how I would even get a hold of this these orders to start the process at all. It may be that he comes back and we have a very short period of time to move and get everything together. So if there is anything I can do, I need to figure out what that is and I need to start it and get as much done as I can. So that definitely keeps me out of traveling there for work. The other reason is, is because I realized my first response was to get out of there to go to Miami as a distraction. I am only physically there sometimes not because I'm actually needed anymore, but because Mike is not there and a big piece of my life is missing. And then so I, I use my job as a distraction and that's not fair to anyone because I end up going in there and doing things and then I just leave and I come back at an undetermined amount of time. There's a lot of things that I need to figure out about my future uh, of my partnership there. Going back there and escaping there all the time is not really fair to anyone either and it just makes me think that maybe I'm not going into working at the restaurant that I've helped create and part own with good intentions anymore and just a lot comes up when that surfaces. <sighs> I forgot to mention that um, the date that I thought that he was going away is actually much earlier. So all of those things that we had scheduled and the videos I plan to make with him to catch up and have some content with him in it while he's gone is not going to happen. I'm a little bit worried that nobody's going to watch this channel if it's just me vlogging uh, a lonely time. I really hope that you guys will stick with watching because I know the second Mike comes back it's going to be such a whirlwind and even before then this during this like mini deployment I have a lot to do and I have a lot to learn and it just it might help somebody going through the same thing I just hope that this channel is still going to be worth something while he's gone <laughs> I know that's kind of like a really stupid thing to think about in the grand scheme of things but you know this was supposed to be about us and our life and in our life he sometimes is absent with zero communication I guess those are the kinds of things that you have to put up with in a military marriage or a military relationship and you know there's no way to control what just happened. All that being said I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film tonight or in the next couple of days but I figured it would be a good idea to get this raw emotion out as it was happening because I don't want to hide that kind of stuff. I don't want it to seem like this is easy 
or that everything works out all the time or that you know you you see these clips of me and Mike having fun and going out and doing these great things and that you know we're always okay we're not always okay like stuff like this happens and the reason why we always go out and have fun is because we're trying to take back the time we miss because of stuff like this it's going to be a hard summer for sure but um, I'm gonna get through it and I have friends that are gonna help I have this channel to keep me accountable and moving forward I have a lot to think about I have a lot to do and still I have a lot to be grateful for because even though this sucks really bad this is this is hopefully it for ever I hope that we never have to use the word underway deployment TDY separation any of those words to describe our current life and I wanted to invite you to continue watching the lonely home stretch. I know some of you guys just had your husbands deployed or you had something change on you radically without you knowing or being prepared for it and I feel you and you're not alone. If you're a military wife or you feel my pain or have been in any kind of situation like this please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.